If you are looking to simplify life, reduce stress, and find more joy or gratitude in everyday moments, then you are at the right place. Today, we're diving into six practical habits and tips that you can start implementing into your life to be aligned and happier with your true self. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pamela and today we're going to be talking all about how to simplify your life in six ways. So for the past few years, I've been really focused on improving my mindset, feeling better about life, and overall just trying to live more in the moment and worry less about things that I can't control. So in today's video, I want to cover just that. I've been trying to really focus on knowing that not every day is going to go how I planned it. Not every second of my life has to be perfect or plan to a T and I'm really trying to embrace that so this video is really for my anxious worrying kind of overwhelmed girlies that are trying to always be everywhere all at once trying to focus on everything all of the time and so I want this video to just be a reminder that sometimes we all have to take a chill pill so let's get started Tip number one is learn how to say no and own it. So take a look at your priorities and things in your life that are important to you and now look at what is getting in the way of that and figure out why. It wasn't until college and now that I'm a post-grad, I actually began to realize just how important your time is because time is everything. Time is the one thing no one gets back and it is very limited. So if there's things that you want to do and things that you want to accomplish, then you need to find what are the things that are getting in the way and identify this from the root. So an example for me with social media and content creation and more specifically YouTube, I had always wanted to be a YouTuber. I feel like everybody, I have always wanted to do it since I was literally 12 years old, but it wasn't until recently that I finally took a stand and I got serious with myself. And I was like, what is stopping me from actually being consistent? Why can I not lock in every day and come up with content, plan it, film the YouTube video, like what is it? One problem was obviously that I was not planning my content in advance. I didn't have a set schedule. I was really discouraged by low views. I was doom scrolling on social media for hours, which obviously did not give me the energy to even want to film content. I hated editing, etc. Like I had all of these things that were standing in my way. When I finally figured out that I had to say no to things that weren't pushing me forward, that is when everything truly began to change. And there is this quote that I have on my vision board, which I'm looking at right now that says the best advice i've gotten in a while is decide what kind of life you actually want then say no to everything that isn't that and i've been doing this recently not just with myself but i've been being a lot more disciplined and i've been working extra hard and i've been doing this also with the people around me in my life so obviously i love to have fun i love my friends i love my family i love everybody but when i started noticing that certain people were a lot more comfortable with just being where they were at they wanted to stay the same they didn't want to have any growth and they just continue to complain about the things around them and not do anything about it that was when i knew that i had to start saying no to those kinds of hangouts to those kinds of times with people because it's like you don't want to be around people that are going to hold you back that are going to hold you down especially when they put their doubts and their fears onto you because they know that you can actually go out and do something in the world and they're going to be stuck in the same place the more comfortable you get around these kind of people and the more comfortable you get with that mindset you are going to notice that when you actually prioritize your values when you actually protect your time and your energy everything is going to change and the truth is that no one is really going to understand what it is that you're thinking Thinking, what it is that you're going through especially if you have big dreams and goals and you're very ambitious so you oftentimes just have to let these people wonder and let them assume keep working on you keep doing you keep focusing on where it is that you're headed and just try to block out all that noise because it is not going to get you anywhere Tip number two is perfect your daily routines. So as you guys know, I'm really big on routines and habits. That is literally what keeps me going. That is how I keep track of what I'm doing on a day by day. That's how I stay organized on top of the things it is that I actually want to do. And so when I started to really perfect my morning and my night routine, that is when it became a lot easier for me to not only find the motivation to do things, but to actually get them done. Because there's a difference between doing things with the motivation you feel happy 
happy, you're excited to do it, and you have the energy versus just doing it because you're forcing yourself and you feel like you have to. One thing that I've mentioned in a lot of my morning routine videos and how to build a morning routine is to do things that you actually like. So if you are copying other people's routines or you're getting inspiration from others and you're just doing it because you feel like you have to do it and that is the only way to enjoy your routine, that is not true. You have to personalize whatever it is that you're doing because that is the only way you're actually going to enjoy it. So if you're copying other people, you're doing the little things that they're doing, you're already off to a wrong start. You are going to start to resent your routine and you're not actually going to want to do it. And that is what I was going through. When I was trying to force myself to wake up early or force myself to go to bed early, I did not enjoy it because I was forcing myself to do it. I didn't see a benefit in it. And I was like, why am I going to wake up early because I don't have anything to do? Why am I going to go to sleep early because of whatever reason? Like I was not enjoying it and I didn't see a reason for it. But when I started to change my mindset and I actually noticed that I wanted to be a productive morning girly, I wanted to go to sleep early because I wanted to have the energy. Like when I started to change my mindset and I actually started to tell myself there is good in this, that is when everything changed. And I'm really speaking from experience when I say this because I was the girl that every night on a Sunday night when I would get the Sunday scaries, I would decide, okay, tomorrow's the day. It's Monday. It's a fresh start. I'm going to restart my life. I'm going to work out. I'm going to journal every night. Like I literally would try to just redo my entire life on a Pinterest board at three in the morning when in reality, that is not how this works. And again, I was just doing it based off of aesthetics and copying other people. So I'm telling you guys, you need to actually just learn to perfect your routines because that is what is going to help you follow through with everything it is that you want to do. So the key to fixing this and how I was able to fix this little stutter that I had in terms of not going through with my routines is I started personalizing it. I started looking at what did I do every single day that I actually enjoyed and how can I incorporate that into my morning and my night routine. So one example is podcasts and YouTube videos and interviews. I love to watch these kinds of videos and I love to hear about other entrepreneurs and business owners and how they got to where they are today, lessons that they've learned and more. And so I decided to use this to my advantage because I know that I already love listening to these and I was like, why don't I go on morning walks and listen to this kind of content first thing in the morning? And that really helped me become a morning person because now I'm excited every morning to wake up. I'm excited to go on walks either with my sister or I'm excited to go on walks alone. I'm not afraid to go and do things by myself because I'm actually excited and I'm going to be listening to content that I already enjoy. Same thing with night routines. At a certain time, I like to turn off all of my socials. I like to get off my laptop and I really like to just put the screens away. And I do this because not just for peace of mind, but also because you get to shut down your brain a little bit. You get to be a lot more ready to want to go to sleep. You get a lot more tired and you get to just shut down everything that happened during the day. So when you begin to adjust your routines and make them more fun for you, life genuinely becomes simpler. The reason why? Because you're not forcing yourself now to do things. You're not forcing yourself to copy other people's routines. You're focusing on you and your journey and the goals and the lifestyle it is that you want right now. Tip number three is let go of things that do not boost your mood. So take a look at all the things around you and do an audit of what is working and what isn't. So this goes a little bit with tip number one, but this is completely different because this is more having to do with energy and what is keeping you going and motivation. So an example of this is to look at what drains your energy, what makes your mood sad or go down, what is a habit that you do that you want to improve or that you want to start doing, and look at all these things and figure out how can you improve improve this thing or how can you get rid of it? So when I was noticing, for example, that my skin wasn't as good and I was breaking out a lot, I decided to stop and cut out sugar and the results were great. When I noticed that I hated spending so much time scrolling on social media and being on my phone all day, I started incorporating reading time into my routine and I fell in love with reading. So it's really all about looking at what isn't boosting your mood, what isn't working anymore, and figure out ways to work around this or just cutting it completely. And this really helps with simplifying your life as well because you don't want to constantly be putting your energy and your time into things that aren't serving you. You don't want to create unnecessary stress that doesn't even have to be there in the first place so instead focus on the things it is that you actually love do activities that actually bring you joy be around people that uplift you and more because i'm telling you guys i make all of these videos because i truly am speaking from experience i have been around the people that drain your energy i've been around the people 
or the situations and experiences that are not good for you but we learn from those and we really need those to obviously develop our character to build ourselves up to where we are today and you're going to just notice a huge difference when you cut these things out not just in your energy levels but you are genuinely going to love everything it is that you're doing again you're going to find that spark again in life and that is what i was missing for the longest time like when i graduated from college in january and i was starting my corporate era and then i realized that that wasn't for me and i was losing touch with my content which is what i loved doing in the first place what i've been doing for years like content is something that you don't even have to pay me to do i just do it simply because i love it and i happen to also be able to make money from it which is amazing but when i noticed that i started to lose that touch and excitement with content i knew that something was up and i started really auditing everything it was that around was around me i didn't want to be on social media as much and consuming other people's content i wanted to focus on being a creator Creator. I didn't want to keep spending money on useless items so I started looking at how I was spending my money like all of these things I was really just trying to simplify and so I started by just auditing everything it was that was around me and cutting out what was working and what wasn't Tip number four is tap into new hobbies and do things that you love. So by setting time aside to do things that you love and just doing things that bring you joy, you are not just gonna add more fun into your life, but you're gonna notice that so many new opportunities are going to open up, not just because you're gonna meet new people and discover new passions, but because you're gonna be able to take your mind off of the busyness of what happens in your day-to-day -day life. And having hobbies is great. I feel like that's something that not a lot of people talk about as we get older. When you become an adult, obviously life gets harder and you have to work, you have to sustain yourself, you have to make money, you have to pay off bills, but no one really hones in on doing things that are just for fun doing things that are our hobbies not because it is going to bring us extra money and worrying on extra side hustles and side incomes but literally just doing things that we enjoy when it comes to buying that new sweater or buying that new pair of expensive shoes we can go out and buy it and we justify it but when it comes to doing things for ourselves, where it can actually benefit us and help take our mind off of the day-to-day -day life we find it a little bit harder to want to spend that money whether it is on therapy or going out and just doing picking up a new sport or picking up on an instrument like whatever it is when it comes to that people have a little bit of a harder time giving up money but if it's on a new bag or a new pair of shoes like i said it becomes a lot easier and so i think that we really need to shift that mindset and really get back into things that we love and things that we are passionate about because we all have those non-negotiables in our life like getting our nails done getting our lashes done shopping but we have to also tap into the things that just make us happy and genuinely put energy into that because those are the things that can give us more peace of mind an example of this was with my content creation and in my video on how youtube changed my life i really dive into how i always wanted to be a youtuber or some kind of content creator before that was even a word before influencer and content creator was even popular and i was always creating music videos and doing little fun things on my ipad in middle school but my videos obviously never were published they never got anywhere and it wasn't until i finally got out of my shell a little bit more and i took that leap of faith it wasn't until I finally decided like I'm going to rip off this old skin and I'm going to start posting on social media and because of that I've been able to meet such amazing people I've been able to get connected with such amazing opportunities and now my hobby which obviously is still something that I love to do has now been able to turn into something really exciting for me and I would literally I wouldn't take it back for the world like I'm so grateful that I've been able to meet all these amazing people and get really cool experiences because I decided to just take that leap of faith so even if you aren't looking to turn your hobby into an extra stream of income, you should still put time into things it is that you love to do and set that time aside each week. Make sure that you're actually doing it, even if it is something as simple as journaling or drawing or coloring or going on a walk, whatever it is that you like to do that brings you peace of mind, make sure to fit it into your schedule because we have time to fit everything else into our schedule and into our calendar, but we don't make the time for things that are for us and our mental health. Tip number five is be where your feet are. So this is a quote that I heard a while back from a YouTube video and it really stuck with me because oftentimes we worry so much about the future and our minds really tend to wander about what our next steps are or what our next path is going to be that we're gonna take when in reality, we just need to be where our feet are. And just last night, I was having a conversation about this with my sister in the living room and we were just talking about how even though I graduated almost seven months ago, I still struggle 
struggle with figuring out what is my next path going to be? What is my journey going to be? And I sometimes struggle with looking at the light at the end of the tunnel, just like everybody else, because I am human. I always try to just remind myself that we are all living this life for the first time. We are all trying everything it is that we're doing for the first time. And I need to learn to just be more fully present in the moment, just to be grateful for what it is that we have, what is around us and bringing our attention back to what is currently in our everyday life. And we have to take advantage of that. So do this by spending time with family members or calling up your friend and having a little date or just having more leisure time for yourself. Like whatever it is, any little thing that can bring us back to our current selves and remind us of where we are is one of the most important things that we can do. And I am someone that genuinely worries so much about everything. And I always say this, but I'm a very unchill person. It is hard for me to be chill and I've been actively working on trying to build this balance which is why i wanted to make this video because these are things that i am starting to implement in my life and i'm starting to learn to do this a lot more so i want to obviously bring this back to you guys and so i'm learning that not everything has to be in a schedule or by the books all the time like if i have a day off it is not the end of the world if i want to just spend the day reading or being on my phone for a little bit like it is not the end of the world we have to enjoy things without feeling guilty about it and remind ourselves of what is happening right now what is in our current lives and just being grateful for that because life is way too short to not be happy and enjoy the everyday life is too short to just let one little thing ruin our entire day do you want to sit with that regret of knowing in 10 years at least you tried and you did that thing it is that you always wondered like oh i wonder if i just took that leap of faith or do you want to sit with the thought in a few years and know that you didn't just stay comfortable you didn't just stay put but you took a risk so pursue what it is that you want and do not worry about the tomorrow the last and final tip which is tip six on simplifying your life is write out your thoughts so journaling has a really huge benefits including reducing stress adding more self-awareness you get to keep progress of your goals and milestones there's emotional expression in it you get to improve your writing and so much more so the purpose of journaling and having a space to write out your thoughts is so that you can have this safe space you can be able to process situations and feelings and emotions and not worrying about what people are going to say not worrying about people judging you because sometimes when you tell the wrong person whatever it is that you're feeling they can take it a kind of way and oftentimes when you tell people things or you open up to them they feel like they have to give you some sort of advice back when in reality sometimes we just want someone to hear us and that can sometimes be ourselves and writing back to ourselves so you learn also with journaling to reflect on who you are who it is that you want to be what are your values as a person do you want to use journaling as an emotional outlet do you want to only let things out that are for you and you only do you want a place to just brain up your thoughts from the day do you want to reflect on gratitude like there are so many ways that you can use journaling to benefit it back to you and it's a great way to also practice mindfulness because it doesn't matter like how you use journaling there are just so many benefits you get to stay connected with yourself and by doing this just for a few minutes every single day you are going to bring a lot more peace back into your life and there's been many times where i specifically have found myself at the end of the day i'm stressed i'm overwhelmed i'm worried and i literally just want to get in bed i want to get all curled up in my blanket i want to get i want to be tucked away from the rest of the world i get this feeling in me where i'm like i just want to write like i want to write about what happened throughout the day and when i fully let my feelings and my thoughts out onto a piece of paper whether it was good or bad i literally get to start the next day on a fresh clean page i literally get to just get rid of what happened throughout the day i write it out and the next day i don't feel it on my consciousness i don't feel that weight on my shoulders and so i'm telling you journaling and just writing your feelings or your thoughts out has so many benefits because you are literally and physically and mentally getting rid of those thoughts you're putting it down and you get to start the next day fresh and clean thank you guys so 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 much for watching you guys are literally the best of the best thank you for all the comments all the support all the likes please make sure to subscribe and let me know if there's any videos you guys want to see in the future and i will see you in my next video love you guys bye